We're live! We're live. And I can hear myself quite loudly. <laughs> I'm going to turn this down. Check, 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 check. Uh, that, there we go. That's better. Better, 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 better. Check, check. Okay. Hopefully everyone out there can hear us. Oh, there's sound through the video camera. Look at that. Mic. Check, check, check. That's pretty good. Now last time we did the show, we were very distorted, and I think there was just too many microphones happening. Oh. Um, still streaming? You look like we're uh, frozen there a little bit. It might be my phone rather than... Uh, <laughs> oh, it might be my phone because uh, ah. Wi-Fi is not on. Ah, yes, definitely turn on your Wi-Fi. Welcome. Welcome to uh, our second inaugural. <laughs> Does inaugural mean uh, yearly? No. Just second time. It's the second <laughs> inaugural <laughs> playing uh, of video games. Yes. So today is, uh, actually, the show is called Zero Page Homebrew, and we play homebrew video games, which means they're new games for old systems. Um, like the Atari 2600, which we're going to be playing today. And in celebration of a new game release that I got just days ago, <coughs> we're going to be playing three games by the same guy. Oh. Now, the game I got was Draconian. And this is done, this game was made by Daryl Spice Jr., as well as the other two games that we'll be playing Medieval Mayhem and stay frosty too oh goodness so an awesome lineup how is the sound are we distorted are we good i don't see anybody chatting it kind of resets the chat room when you go out and in doesn't it yeah uh quite a bit of lag Atari 2600, which we're going to be playing today oh it is and distorted in celebration of a new game release that i got just days ago sorry for the feedback for the loop in time let's move this away a bit there we go Okay, because that's a very sensitive microphone. Um, okay, so he uh, just released Draconian, which was released last, late last year. It came out 2017. It was premiered at the Portland Retro Video Gaming Expo. I believe that was in August or September. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go, so I didn't pick that up there. Um, I got my copy just days ago, and I did an unboxing which is why it's out right now. I filmed an unboxing. I'm going to add it to the other unboxing video that I did and probably release that next week, so you'll see that. And this is the very exciting part. Let's just switch to the other mm. view here. Uh, oh, switch to the webcam view. There we go. Oh, what are we looking at there? <laughs> so this... Oh. Let's turn that around. This is, oh yes. Let's put it on our fancy spinner here. It's for spinning fancies. This is the pro, well he had a contest for Draconian. Um, and the contest was to make levels for the Delta Quadrant, which was the uh, fourth section of levels. And people submitted their their um, their levels, and then they got voted on by the Atari Age uh, peoples. <coughs> and I submitted eight levels, and I got four of them into the game. October. Sound is fine. Video lags. Oh, that sucks. Sorry about that, dude. Um, hopefully it'll get better as time goes on. So I got four of my levels into the Delta Quadrant, which was very exciting. And as a bonus, this is... Is that what the video looks like? That is <coughs> terrible, if that's the speed of the video. <laughs> that is atrocious. That's not video. That's uh, <laughs> occasional image changing. <laughs> wow. That is incredibly brutal. 
Oh, it just went crazy. It did like three frames in like three seconds. Yeah, so it's, so it's like light speed. Daryl Spice Jr. Is, has joined us for this stream today. Thank you for being with us. See, yours is like totally lagging. But anyway, this is the trophy I got for coming in third place in the voting. So I was very, very happy to get this. And it is the enemy base, which the name escapes me right now what it's called. Um, nope, it's not on the back, but we'll find out when we open up the manual. So that is very cool. So let's switch back to our view. There we go. And so we're going to be playing these three games today, and we're going to be starting off with Medieval Mayhem. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. What? I think what we should do for the order... Yes. I think that we should look at the games <laughs> and decide, judge them. That's right, judge them. I was, was going to do them in order of release. Okay, but... Oldest you to can, newest. You're in charge, so you can decide, but just... Okay. Hear my I potentially will. lame uh, idea. Okay. Uh, judge them based on which one we think is the most interesting, is going to be the best, yes. just by looking at it in the box and what have you. By artwork? By any <laughs> anything involved with this, and okay. play them in order of, of what we think is the least promising to the pr most promising. Yes. And then we'll find out whether we were right. Because last time we... We played the most promising one first. <laughs> first, and then it just got progressively not as good. They're all good, but... I've already played all three. Because I've been... I played, like, beta, beta versions of them, and we played... That one's been out for a long time. So I already know. <laughs> I already know what order I want them. Okay, just... Let's just acknowledge that my idea is really good, though. It is. If I didn't know all about these games already, I think that method would be super awesome. Why is there so much lag? I don't know. Can you disconnect and reconnect? Yep. We're just going to test out this, because we didn't have this much lag last time. And I'm going to check my settings. Because I may... It says the broadcast you were watching has ended. Oh, what? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm going to turn down the bit rate. and see if that helps because that is not good how are we now on the video still like terrible lag max <laughs> lag max okay i'm gonna stop the streaming and then i'm gonna start the streaming which you can't hear me right now oh it's having some trouble stopping the stream Probably has to wait until like a frame would play. Yeah. Maybe. I'm gonna stop the recording. Shut the program off. So you watching at home, when I re-upload this, we'll we'll be back in a second. Okay. Now try and reconnect. Streaming again at a much lower bit rate. What is that? Is that an ad? Oh, it's an ad. So, those who are not seeing an ad, <laughs> we are back. I've lowered the bit rate. It may have been like completely maxing out my system. Uh, we will see if this helps at all. Are we? More than one frame a second. A we better. are more than a little bit better. It's, it's like infinitely better. <laughs> not great. Good, maybe not good, but it's maybe very, very much better. Ah, oh, so disappointing. I'm gonna have to do tests next time. Between. Okay, let's get on with the show. Regardless, it looks like it's somewhat decent to play. Hopefully, the gaming will be fine. I don't know if it's just the camera. We will see. Anyway. The first game we will play is Medieval Mayhem. And not knock everything over. And this is 2006, so a whole 12 years ago. And I picked this up at the... Isn't that when um, Facebook came out? <laughs> yes. And Before the iPhone? Facebook, I think. Or 2006. Yeah, way back in the day. 2006 was a big year. 
<laughs> a lot of big Woo! things happening. Now this is the big three: Facebook, yes, iPhone, yes, and, and Evil, Evil Mayhem. Mayhem by Daryl Spice Jr. Jr. I picked this up at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo and got it signed by Mr. Spice. Oh, oh, the switches. There we go. Let's go to studio. Yeah. We've got the webcam. There we go. Got it signed by Mr. Spice. There. Let's open this up. Try not to wreck the top. This one was a really well made box, it looks like. There we go. Medieval Mayhem for the Atari 2600. Now, you have played this. You have? <laughs> yes, we have both played this. I was so good at it, too. <laughs> uh oh. Not compared to like other people. Yeah. But compared to me. I was very good compared to me. Let's put that in. Where's the paddles? You didn't plug them in? No, oh, where are the paddles? There they are. I stretched them out. I stretched them out. That's good. I might forgive him. Because for a second there, I was in trouble. I know what trouble sounds like, and that was exactly what I was in. Trouble! <laughs> trouble! Let's get the paddles plugged in. Make sure we're good to go. I don't see anything happening. There we go. Let's get a little bit of volume. Oh, I don't think there's any music here. So, switch over. There we go, Medieval Mayhem. Okay, so put it down to two players. Also, can everybody hear us okay? Is the volume okay? It's really far away. severe handicap here. Oh, I do not, I do not approve Come on. of you claiming to have a handicap. Oh no, we're playing against the computer? Yes. Uh-oh. Okay, this game is based on Warlord, which was, which I played extensively in Atari 2600. I did not know it, it actually was an arcade game. Um, until fairly recently, because I've never seen it in my balls. <laughs> there are balls. I think I've got my paddle almost working. I think I, we, no. need, we need to set the skill level of the computer down a bit. <laughs> it's ruthless. Go on, fire it. I think I can pick on you more and me less. <laughs> Oh, you have a big hole in your castle there. I know. Okay, the <laughs> point, point of this game is... Oh, now there's two. Now we're in trouble. Is to smash the walls of the enemy's castle and destroy the king that is inside. No! I can't even see a one-on-one. 
of its stupid bricks. Ow, ow. Oh. There you go. Well, it's distracting. There you go. There you go. You got a tactic down now. There. Come on, balls! Keep keep attacking the computer. He is the bad one. He's the threat. Is that the stream? Oh my god! No! technical problems. And here I am winning. I think your system should be up and running when I win. <laughs> I'm going to... Okay. Okay, get ready. No! That ain't right! Slow. Oh, I'm not going to win this round. Just to be clear for all those. What's up? Can you start your stuff again? I don't know what's that. It's not. It's not. I, I restarted. Too. Yes, they do. I'm right. going to send it to you. Okay. Oh, that's a great tactic. Okay, I'm going to take this guy out. Oh, no. Because he's slow. It's okay, I got this. <laughs> you do? No. <laughs> oh. Why does he always defend against me? I guess because I'm... <laughs> A sign of improvement. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh. What? Well, this doesn't okay. count. I'm going to do the tactic. Oh, it is. Okay. There we go. Here we go. Okay. Uh, uh, yes. High five? Wait, no high five? 
five. I'm going to kill you first. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll have by myself. <laughs> slow. I don't know. It's not slow before. Yeah, they slow right down. What's happening? Oh, I'm not complaining too. Well, any complaining is too much complaining. <laughs> I thought it was three fall, fall, falls and five victories. Ooh. But maybe it was the reverse. No, no. I think you can only go to three balls. Once. But I did. I'm pretty sure I set it to. So this game already gets bonus points for, um, for being a game in which you are very excited when you win. <laughs> yes. Because it is quite an accomplishment over that hard red guy. I'm a red guy. It's even tricky when he's moving. He doesn't stop and throw it. He keeps moving and then he releases it. And then I take out the blue guy. Once. You can't. Did you? Yeah. Look at the. That's true. <laughs> Okay, I'm passing it to you. Okay. I'll take out the blue guy. I switched it from hardware to software encoding, and now it seems that we can actually stream. <laughs> Rather than being a flipbook. <laughs> flipbooks won't go over well on the internet. Okay, we have attacked. Four. Let's, let's read the instructions. 
<laughs> yes, what? I can do two research for this. Uh, yes, actually. Let's switch to the webcam. I'm gonna switch to chocolate in my mouth. It's not really chocolate. It is chocolate, actually. There is chocolate in it. There's cocoa powder. Oh. oh. I need your help. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Medieval Mayhem Survival Manual by Spiceware. Beautiful cartoonish artwork on there. Gameplay basics. A cunning and mischievous dragon named Scarlet has beguiled four powerful armies for a showdown of medieval mayhem. To arms! Tailor your shield's defenses and protect your king. Rotate your paddle. <laughs> I love, if you've ever read old manuals from like the 70s or 80s, they explain how to use the controls as if you've never seen the device in your life ever and it's just funny but that's not too bad rotate your panels that's normal because <laughs> <laughs> there was one that said waggle your stick or something it was the worst instructions ever Rotate your paddle to position your shield and deflect the dragon's wall pulverizing fireball away from your castle. So you mean they explain it as though you have never used it and also yes. they have never used it. <laughs> that as well. <laughs> they don't even know how to explain it. Uh, but beware, if the castle walls are breached, your king becomes vulnerable. Oh no. Somebody, the other day I was commenting on vulnerable, the word vulnerable, that a lot of people don't pronounce the word L, uh, the letter L in vulnerable. They say vulnerable. Mm. And I looked it up, and it is supposed to be pronounced, but a lot of people don't. And like in Britain, they don't. Like um, some of the East Coast of the U.S., they don't. Like not as general rule, but some people. See, the thing is, if your king becomes vulnerable, yes, that gives him an opportunity to really bond with his people because you know That's he's right. shown he's, high and mighty. A, he's shown a side of himself and they just they can they can then like see past his crown and walls and never mind carry on <laughs> that's true you know what the instructions i can just yeah it's so wild <laughs> now just keep his voice because it's so wobbly i imagine that he was driving people not having it like did you see it there it was all like Bleh. Fire oh, yeah. and take aim and release. Oh, hold down the red button to capture the fireball if you can. Then take aim and release the button to launch your own fireball attack. But be quick. The captured fireball held too long will start to flare up and damage your own castle wall. Now they did make this as a lord. Original 2600 version of this um, Warlords, which is the original. You can't, you can't name it either. Anymore. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I'll point it back at the prize. Uh, you were saying the original version? Uh, the 2600 release, um, when the 2600 was out Warlords, uh, it didn't spin around and destroy, so you mm. could hold it for as long Forever. as you wanted. Until people which, went for a break. Yeah, which changed the tactics quite a bit. Uh, setting up. Oh, they, they tell you how to set up your target. Under 600, we will um, skip over that. Oh, switch shield direction. Left difficulty, right difficulty. Shield direction. Let's try that out. Does that mean like you turn right, you go left instead of left? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That must be it. Yeah, if you're switching it the opposite way, it's probably just as effective. Um, so let's see what all this means. Players, obvious. Sp speed. Um, kids, slow, fast, medieval. Fireballs, one, two, three. Um, actually, in um, in Warlords, there was only one fireball. Ah, but I like being that multiple fireballs makes it like playable. way, way better. Yes. It makes it way more playable. Being the expert programmer that Daryl is, he was able to get three fireballs going with the limited resources that the 2600 has. 
cat rule. So you can set it to non catch. Uh, also, limited means you can't catch fireballs hitting the back of your shield. Uh, that would be a better no, way. That would be worse. <laughs> it would be worse for me. It, it, it would be worse because only people that suck get hit from the back. And so it just penalizes people that already suck. And people that are good at it aren't going to do that. That's true. And I say this as one of the, those who suck. <laughs> you didn't do too bad. You beat the computer. And that computer's pretty good. That's because the computer was very keen to kill the other computer. It was. <laughs> um, actually, can you switch to the chat on that? Because it seems to be going well. It's just easier to see the chat there. Oh, you have to be vertical. Can you turn down the game volume? Oh, sorry. Uh, where is the game volume? There it is. There's the chat. Thank you, Daryl, for letting us know. Um, how's the the audio? Is it distorted at all? Because I know last time we had a lot of problems with distortion. And I think I fixed it because I had to mute everything else except for the proper microphone. It looks like it's fixed. Um, get, set screen flash option to yes, no, king only, or castle only. Okay, cool. To win, number of matches to win, one to nine. And uh, start, start a new game. Should switch that up. Oh, no, that's the one where they're saying. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, it's right here. Never mind. No, it's the right one. Yeah, I can switch to that. There we go. Uh, your castle fortress, I think the rest is pretty straightforward. Um, but I think the like you're talking about the horizontal mm -hmm. amount of room There is more room horizontal. I think that is the proper aspect ratio. Oh Am I cutting off anything? No, I'm not. That looks good. Uh -huh. um, I think that's the correct aspect ratio. So there is more room on the horizontal so to defeat the enemy uh, the computer I think it is easier to get them yeah. to okay. move over and destroy uh, strategies. Ooh. Mastering your aiming skill is the best way to survive, and there are many ways to set up a match in medieval way mayhem, from handicap matches between novice and expert warriors to single game match of sudden death to settle any score. Uh, for starters, try solo practice. Set up the catch feature set to years to yes. Okay, set it all to simple. Um, Scarlet also gives clues to her launching patterns by n number of passes she makes across a battlefield. Uh, okay. Knowing her habits will help you predict her next move. Pay attention as she hesitates before a launch. At times, she'll even shun a warrior who tries to aim the fireball back at her. Wow. But be warned, in multi-fireball games, Scarlet will watch the fray after she exits and launch another fireball from off-screen if players are too evenly matched. To add to the mayhem, she'll launch another fireball immediately after a king is hit. Um, okay, good. What is this? Join the Ultimate Warrior League. Find your Warrior League title. Here's how. Play a solo game using any corner, or compete with any number of human players and set win to nine. Setting li limited number... Okay. Um, after, num after game ends, combine only the scores of your opponents. Ah. Uh, this determines that you're standing in the Warrior rank below. So, uh, my opponent's got a three total... So I got Warlord. No, because but we not didn't King. play. Oh, we didn't. Nine. We didn't. Oh yeah, because that would There's be There's a massive higher. difference. I think that that we were down here and the Say scout we, run demoted. So we multiply by three. Probably. Well, but no, you did really higher. well. Yes. <laughs> you won half of them, and the <laughs> more games we played, the less likely you'd be able to manage half. Yes. Maybe not. But if I started to be like, oh, no, I'm not going to participate in your plan to take out the one guy because you're doing too well. That's true. Then I might let the... I would do much worse. But also, you'd be left, if you won, with difficult opponents. Mm. No. No? I would play them, I'd play them against each other. Mm. Mm. No. That would work. And I'd tell Red about how Blue was checking out his girlfriend's... Mmm. Um, novels. Audio fine. Video now fine. Awesome. All right. I think we got it. Mm. Okay. Now that we know the rules, it really didn't help us much, but we'll do one more game, and then we'll move on. Uh, 
Okay. Still two players. We're gonna go medieval speed. <laughs> um, still three fireballs. Still catch. Flash. Mm. We'll just do king. Castle? We'll do flash on the castle. That's every time it hits a castle piece, it flashes the screen. Uh, That'll make it crazy. And we'll still keep three to it. Ready? Mm -hmm. Actually, there's time. Oh, I'm not ready. Okay. And that that dragon graphic mm -hmm. is absolutely amazing animation. Yeah, it's and pretty it's great. Huge for an Atari 2600 um, sprite or character. Oh my god, this is fast. Okay. Actually, this may help in defeating the blue guy. And it does. Let me do it to the right guy. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, the right guy it. might just kill me first. Get it. <laughs> Get it. Okay, ready? Oh, this is so slow. I thought this was supposed to be fast. Yes. Yes. Now it's on. I mean, Warlord. Mm -hmm. um, so I was so happy when this came out. Because this gets it really, really, really close to um, the arcade versions with all the add-ons and the animation of the dragon coming out. Ah! 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 Oh, my God! Well, that was a quick defeat. So let's uh, see your claims and see if they come true. Oh, I, have, I don't have to... them to turn against each other. Oh, that is your going to be a tactic? You're going to let, let the, uh, the blue guy kill the red guy. Hmm. Well, let's pre pretend that uh, you turn them against each other and the red guy killed um, the blue guy. <laughs> too fast. It's too fast. There. Oh, he was distracted by the ball. Yeah, he's watching the ball. Wait till it comes close. Wait till the ball comes close. That's yeah! how you do it. That's the tactic. He gets distracted by gr trying to grab the ball. Okay, we've got another, uh, another tactic against the red guy. Or, it's actually female. The red girl. Red why, woman. Why is she female? I don't know, just in the manual. Scarlet. No, Scarlet's the dragon. Oh, oh. I thought that at first, too. Oh, that makes much more sense. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I'm wrong. No, that, no, that makes sense, I think. Because, um... It was talking about... Oh, okay. Talking about... Okay, let's get it. Releasing the ball to the players. And I was like, why isn't they talking... Why aren't they, why are they only talking about the red player? Oh! Ah! Oh no! Okay, wait, wait. Oh, actually, you can't wait. Okay, go! Run! Oh no, I'm so dead. I'm so unprotected here. Yeah! Oh. No, you played. <laughs> Apparently. There was no stabbing. <laughs> Stab the king in the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Scott. <laughs> yeah, you two take each other out. Except they can't. The ball's moving too slowly. They just catch it. No! It's moving super fast now. 
I don't understand how the speed works. Me neither. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All sometimes right. it's fast, and sometimes it's oh, fast to me, fast to me. Oh, you're getting them. Oh my god. <laughs> if you weren't cooperating, we would not be doing this well. No. <laughs> we have a truce until it's only us. Left. Is there a war tactic like that called? Is there? A, it's probably a name for it, right? A truce until all the other enemies are defeated. Yeah, it's kind of the normal, <laughs> the normal way to, the thing that to happens, do war. Like, normally. like oh, it's good, good cooperating with you. Take all your stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is game point. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. When I had my last uh, gaming night, I had to clean all my paddles. I had to take them all apart. Because they're called jumpy, 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 jumpy. This one was fairly jumpy when I started this. It's perfectly good now. It's a little jumpy. Come on, need a ball. Here, pass over. Dead. Get up there! Oh my god. Got two pieces. I have no shield left. Oh no! Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, that was close. Oh, fireball speed rules. Uh, well, this guy should know. <laughs> Thank you, Daryl. Okay. Hit a brick, uh... slow down. Oh, I thought it was the opposite. Hit a shield, speed up. Okay. That makes sense. What happens if you capture? Does it maintain? Doesn't change it. It no. maintains the same speed. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. All right. Now that is an awesome game, yeah. especially for. We played it the last uh, gaming night. Gaming night. Um, for gaming. And we have four people playing, which is infinitely better when you have all the paddles going. So let's. Uh, Switch over Unless you this. have Rory and Corey, in which case you might as well not even play. <laughs> yes. Yeah. If, <laughs> if, you have, if, if you have Corey and Troy, they, they dominate completely and destroy everybody in their path. So I'll put that aside. And we're going to go over to the second game, which we need a joystick for. And I had one somewhere around here. Where did it go? Is it the one with heavy metals in it? No, not that one. <laughs> that is fun to play with, but... You're taking your life in your hands every time. You are. Where is it? Um, oh, here it is. Okay. Nobody knows. We're going to switch over to the Genesis controller, because that is a nice general controller. Well, if held too long, a capture fireball will flare up, yes, and take out brick bricks in your old castle. If that happens, the fireball slows down. Okay, um, so if it starts flaring up, then it starts slowing down. Okay, so that you don't want to wait till it slows down because then it will be very easy for your opponents to take that out. Okay, so let's switch over to the webcam there and get a close up of this. So, this is the next game. This is Stay Frosty 2, and um, 
There was, and you're asking, where is Stay Frosty 1? <laughs> well, technically, there is no Stay Frosty 1 cartridge. Um, what it was, it was on... Oh, what? I thought this was Stay Frosty 1 on here. Okay. Where do I look? Oh, there I look, oh, there. Because I'm watching your your feed on your phone, which is lagged. Um, so this is Stay Frosty 2 on this cartridge too? Am I like going crazy? Oh no, this is the wrong one. Okay. I'm pretty sure this was where Stay Frosty was on, is Stella's stocking, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm just gonna pop it in really quickly here. So that I am not, or is that, yeah, okay, let's pop this in. Now we're not going to play this, I just want to see what's happening here. Let's switch back, nothing's happening, try that again. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> oh, there we go. Something's happening. So Slowly. nothing is happening. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. There it is. There's Stay Frosty. That's what I thought. So this is the original game. Um, And we're going to be playing oh. State Frosty 2. Lost some of your butt there for a second. I did. Oh no! <laughs> Actually, the point, you're supposed to lose your butt. Oh. But you're supposed to get rid of all the fire, fire you guys. Oh. And the, and the ice uh, just builds you back up? The ice builds you back up. Because you don't want to get too melty. Okay, good. So, but we're not playing that today. We'll play that another day. We're going to play State Frosty 2. <clears throat> uh, let me put this back in. Switch back to this cam. You can bring that cam up. Ah, everything's falling everywhere. You can bring oh. that camera now. Yes, and Stella's stalking. Yes, that's right. Nope. None of that. <laughs> okay. Stay frosty too. Stay frostier for the Atari 2600 BCS. Now, when was this put out? So now we're up to 2014. Everybody's favorite fabled frosty firefighter is back. That's a lot of Fs. But so are the pesky fireballs, and they're hotter than ever. This year, they've kidnapped Santa and some of his helpers, so it's up to you to put out the fireballs and rescue your friends from their fiery fate. Oh my god, there's a lot of Fs. Your first frosty adventure was to just a warm-up. Now there are all new levels to conquer and challenges to face. Fortunately, you found some new magic in that old silk hat of yours. Can you stay frostier? Fight your way to fireball the fireball's frigid fortress and freeze those, fen freeze those fiendish flames? New enemies, exciting power-ups to discover, holiday-themed in-game music, multi-button gamepad support. Yes! Good, the Genesis will use more than one uh, button. Uh, and 32 unique game screens. Melody advanced game cartridge. ARM enhanced DPC plus accelerated. So that means this has a coprocessor chip in it. Ah. So it can use very advanced um, features. 32K ROM, very big. 8K of RAM, so it's got extra RAM on here as well because the 2600 only has 128 not kilobytes, bytes, bytes, <laughs> bytes of RAM. <laughs> so you can imagine how beneficial 8,000 more of them are. Um, or 8,000, 8 times 1,024. Um, 2014, Daryl Spice Jr., produced by Atari Age. Our friends at Atari Age. Thank you, Al. So let's open this up. Stay on that camp. See if he wrinkles it. Yeah, this oh, one is unwrinkled. Is a crease coming? Is a crease coming? No, and. Oh, I hate these. Nope, oh. I did it. A little bit there, uh -oh. but not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
But that's how boxes were made back in the day. And also today. No, they're much better today. With this like, isn't from back Oh, in the I day. mean, yeah, Atari 2600 <laughs> cases. But you got to stay authentic. Now, this one might stay up. Let's try it. Let's move my trophy. My trophy out of the way. Yes, I think we are good. With that. <laughs> now it's in the screen. There we go. Okay. And it's better if we do this. You're not. Oh, you speak to the down just a bit. There we go. Okay. So let's pop the cartridge in. Hopefully it works. A bit lag. What is happening with my 2600 today? Now, I might note that this 2600 has an RGB board um, put on it, and that's not why it's misbehaving. It just is. Maybe this cartridge is empty. <laughs> Did I get a bad cartridge? Let's see. Oh, it's one of these where it's difficult to open. Well, you can kind of clean it by putting it in and out a bit. Now you have to get a little poker thing. Oh, I see. I got it. Poke it out. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Pull this switch over here so we get it going. Stay frosty uh, cartridge work? Uh, it should. Is it exactly the same, the other one? I, would, I don't think so. Actually, we need to. If they're both stay frosty too, what, would, what is the difference with this one? There shouldn't be any difference. What is happening? Let's see. Let's check our connections. That one is lighting up. That one is fine. That's fine. Our frame meister is fine. Um, let's just turn off the power to the frame meister. Uh, here. We don't need to do any of that if we plug in it when it works and it works, then we know that it's... Yeah, we're just going to test out Pac-Man for a second. And see if it's the cartridge. Is it this? No. Let's Just, pop uh, in Medieval Mayhem again. Those don't do anything. It says no signal. See, that's no, that's not even right. So oh, like wait a second. No, wait a second. I had powered it off. One moment, just leave it on on. There we go. Are we happening? Okay, so Medieval Mayhem is working. So let's pop this out and put back and stay frosty. Oh. I hear something. I think we're getting closer. That is a funny noise. Yeah, the cartridge isn't working. Because this is uh, Pac-Man's... Yeah, Pac-Man seems to be not working as well. Yeah, it's working. Oh, okay. So, let's get the other cartridge. That's disappointing. 
Stella's stocking. No, no, it was no. this one. Yeah. So this is Atari Age. Um, Atari Age Holiday Greetings. 2014, it says? Yeah. Okay. So let's pop that in. Ah! That's funny. I'm sure it was me, though. <laughs> Oh. This is working, yeah. Yeah, okay. Hooray! played this a number of times. I can only get to a certain level, and then I'm in trouble. So, what do you do? You... Well, oh, you have to jump on top of the fire. Yeah, you have to get rid of all the fire guys. Where did you jump off there? You can jump in, in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, the broom that I picked up at the beginning of the level gave me a double jump. Okay. Now this one, those birds... Uh, are undefeatable. Oh, so they are not fire? No. Well, they are fire, but they will kill you. They're not the, the good fire. They're not the good fire you need to get rid of. Ah. Uh. Yeah, you only need to get rid of Mr. Fireball up there, up top. Now, there are some tactics here where... Well, you get points for getting all the... Um, all the ice but you don't want to get all the ice right away yeah. because especially if you're full because you can't get more full yeah um you don't have a, a ice bank no there's no ice bank there's so you want to only get the ice when you need the ice so now i need a little bit of ice now the problem is i'm going to clear all these guys out and need some more ice Probably a lot more ice. There we go. That should be enough. Ah! Oh my god. That's close. What happens if you fall down that hole? Uh, you're dead. <laughs> Is it game over? No. No, you do get uh, three? Three Frosties? Don't forget the present. I will get the present on the way back. Is that just a wall? Yeah, you have to move that wall. There we go. Collect my extra points. Grow a few inches. Yep. And you get reset, I think at the end, yeah, you get reset at the beginning of every level. Um, so on this one, there's a special thing at the top there. It's a carrot. And what the carrot does, you do a carrot nose. And this one you definitely want to be filled up with all the ice for because you have to get rid of that guy. He's too high up, so you throw snowballs. But yes, what button do you throw snowballs? Uh, C. Okay. Um, but the snowballs actually take away from you because you're like taking chunks out of your body and throwing yourself at him. Now this one, it starts to get challenging. How were you sitting in the air there? It is a invisible map. Ah. Now I'm trying to do as much of the map without uh, using the cheat, which is going down to the bucket at the bottom of the screen, which will show you the maze. But I think I'm going to go there, because I can't really tell what's going on. Well, right above there where that ice is, there has to be a, a thing, right? That's true, but there are walls that you oh, can't I see. see. Yeah, yeah. So I think you'd have to go around. So I have to find out. Oh, you found a ledge. Anyway, yeah, but I fall down. <laughs> is it really cheating if you're supposed to take the bucket? No, it's not cheating. Um, so I need this ice. So let's... But as soon as you touch, oh yes, that's right. The bucket makes the them bucket bigger. makes them bigger. 
Except that one guy up there. Yeah, not yet. As soon as I touch him, it's big. But there's three ice up there, so... Oh, no wonder it's so hard to get up. Ah! Ledges are, like, minuscule. Okay. It's gonna be big and angry. But it was enough. That one I have difficulty with. My... Barely? Yeah, I thought so. A little tiny. There we go. Okay, this one's not too bad, but it's just a little complicated. So there's lots of walls in this one that you have to move. But also, there are, see the red, um, the red parts, mm -hmm. uh, ledges, sorry, um, those will burn you. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I forgot what that was. Okay, that restores all the, all the, um, ice blocks. Uh, oh. Oh, what is happening? What did I forget to do? You have to go down. Oh, there. Yeah. So that one moves that wall. Then I have to go all the way back. Ah. While trying not... Oh, those go down. Ah! 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 Then I move that wall. Now I can get these guys. Oh, this one's so hard. I don't think I can make it. See, all heads gonna fall off. You're gonna lose your 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 <laughs> carrot nose. See, I've wrecked this you level. You don't even have a corn cob pipe. <laughs> I've already wrecked this level. I don't think I can do it because I got, I used the snowflake. I'm just gonna corn cob pipe. It's right there. I was just talking about oh. that. <laughs> oh, what happens here? Oh, oh too much. I don't think I could. You did not stay frosty enough. No, I did not. I don't think I. Could have made it. I don't know what that corn cob pipe does. I forget. Oh, it turned you blue. It might have helped me out. Okay, don't get those. Don't get the. Don't get that. I will get that this time. I don't know what it does. Ah! Ah! Oh no! Okay, the other button doesn't do anything. Ouch! didn't really hurt. It's okay, the good. thing I say when you yeah. bang my elbow and stuff. Okay. I think I'm going to do okay. <laughs> I need to get up there. Okay, I got it. What is happening? Why aren't I getting big? Because you don't grow as big as you think, as quickly as you think. True. But I think I can make it. Good. Good. Okay, presents are just bonus. Okay, good. I think the challenge on this one is just that there's a big open pit on the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna not get here, <laughs> so I don't have to worry about that. No? Ah! Okay, it's just one more guy again. And I'm not going to get that present in the middle bottom. Because <laughs> I'm not foolish. But I will get all these ice blocks here. Collect pipe equals half damage. Okay, awesome. Good, good, good. Oh, that moves. Oh, I'm still not going to get it. It's too dangerous. Lava platforms. Okay. Coal fuels fire. Oh, that's what it is. Thank you, Daryl. Oh, God. This one... Actually, I have not been to this It says level. drop down below tree for bonus level. You missed it. Oh. You missed the bonus level. No! No! <laughs> I'm gonna die on this one. I... Those lasers are very small at times. Dang it. Oh, okay. Well, technically I'm done. You just have to get that gasoline. <laughs> oh, God. I didn't... Am I supposed to get the gasoline? Oh, well, maybe you can get one. Ah! I don't think I want to get the gasoline. I think I just want to take these guys out. Ah! No! No! <laughs> I think it's my turn. I think that's what happened. Oh, I, think I was you done were... the level. No, and then... no, you weren't. You have to leave before you're done the level. I know. Don't sound bitter the oh, way I can would continue. sound bitter. But I won't. I won't continue. I won't continue. Drop down the tree. Uh, bonus level. How many levels are on here? There's a lot. 32. And I made like level 9. 
terrible. Okay, I have to get the the broom. There you go. Now you can double jump. When you double jump, jump, and then wait, and then jump again, and it'll give you more, more, uh... <laughs> No! I apologize to all of the people watching yes. for the, the painful jumps that I'm making. No! Oh. <laughs> you have to get the broom again. So how are you with platformers? Oh, bad? <laughs> so, was that not clear? <laughs> platformer. Okay, so you can get it. Now this last jump is very challenging. You have to jump at the last second. No, you can't get up that way. You have to go the long way. You like how they put the pit right where the big jump is? There you go. Now use that same tactic. Oh. Oh, you're tempted. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> hey, don't laugh at me. <laughs> no, don't touch the birds. You only have one jump again, so don't try and double jump. See, this is, in my opinion, this is the hardest level <laughs> of all the ones you had to do. What? No, no, no. This was... No, I'm telling you what I think. What you think. In my opinion, this one seems the hardest. Because of all the enemies? Yeah. Look uh, at them all. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, the Atari 2600 and how it handles graphics right now. Um, if you take a look at the enemy placement on this screen, you can see everything. It, each of the enemies is on its own horizontal level. Um, so each bird isn't on the same level as the other bird. That's because the Atari 2600 only does two characters, two sprites, or two players, that they call them, at a time. Ah! I did it all over again. <laughs> I don't think I can. Um, but you can, but when you no! say, when you say two players or two sprites, that means two sprites on one line. So if you look, the 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 firebirds are all on one one per line. Ah! <laughs> Just stay on the screen for a second. And um, <laughs> and if you look at the fire, there was two on the same line, and once you get up there, there's three guys on the same line. Mm -hmm. So what Daryl did is he what what most people do uh, when they're playing when they're making the game is that instead of if you if there's more than two players on the same line you have to stagger when you draw them so you have to draw one and then draw the other on each separate frame and there's 60 frames a second um so it draws one draws that's, the why other, they the other. that's why they flicker but in this game they're fire so the flickering actually adds to the game uh, so it looks totally normal that they're flickering, and if you even look, he's he drew it so they always flicker. So they always flicker, yeah. So that you don't even notice when there's one or two on the same line, they're just always doing the flickering, which is awesome to work in a, draw, yeah. a drawback of the system into the game. So I'm going to give it one more try and see if I can pass that level. That's actually the best I've ever done with that last one. No, the important thing is to get underneath the... Oh, yes. Uh, Christmas it's a bonus. Tree. The yes. tree. The tree. Which is a holiday tree. <laughs> is it say holiday tree? No, I'm just uh, being an a -hole. <laughs> What? I pressed it. I did. Too late, obviously. I also pressed it. <laughs> Whenever the pressing was to be done. Oh, oh you have to do it again. <gasps> what did you just do? A common tactic <laughs> among gamers, especially on the first level, is that you don't. <laughs> you just reset the game. 
down there, because because otherwise it's just frustrating. What? There must be a a point a of limit. A yeah. point of no return of when you can press the jump button, and it just doesn't register after a while. Yay! Level one done. <laughs> now the hardest level why, in the game. Why did you think this was the hardest? Because of the birds. You have a bird flying around. Yeah, like you get constantly moving and you just there's slow no and, rest. Slow and, and predictable. I'm, I'm wicked. <laughs> so I should be used to it. But. Ah, they're slow and predictable. Easy. If you can't stop and smell any sort ah. of flowers or anything. No, you can't. You gotta keep moving. Ah, that's okay. I got lots of life left. Lots of snow left. I think you probably get yeah, you get bonus levels. See it build you up again. Okay, got it. Careful not to use up your snow. It's not too critical in this level. Because it does give you And there's there is a time limit actually. See the snow melts? So it doesn't build you up as much. When you get it. Oh, the, the ice cube? The ice cube, yeah. The ice blocks. So if you play too long on the same level and just like sit there, it's not gonna be good. See, there was four um, fire guys on the same level. So there was an extra bit of flicker because you had to divide up the Yeah, time. I noticed it, yeah. Ah, uh, no! Oh! oh <laughs> are you gonna start over? No, I won't. <laughs> that was terrible. Because you second guess yourself which direction you want to fall, and then you just head straight for the pit. I think your phone died. Ran out of the bat. Ran oh, out of the juice. Yeah, because I've had it plugged into this battery the whole time. And the, the battery's dead. the battery wasn't on. Uh, <laughs> that would be an issue. <laughs> no. I was like, yeah, I got this covered. <laughs> for a while. <laughs> well, uh, the, the bonus is that you didn't use up your battery. I did. <laughs> I used up the phone battery. Phone battery. <laughs> Gotta get that present. Gotta get the present. Come on. Am I melting too? Ah! 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 <laughs> Terrible. Darcy I got it anyway. <laughs> Darcy level jump in there. <laughs> Actually, does it give you more points the more melted you are? Because it was counting up as you got rebuilt. So that seems that it would give you more points for being, for being more melted. Yeah, or you just got the points for ice. I don't oh, know there are more. That could be it. You were you were getting them as you were the place, so. This is so much easier with a second button <laughs> playing this. I've never played this with a Genesis controller. For throwing the snowball. Even though it's only one level so far. I would check to see the comments, but I can't see my phone is off. <laughs> I got two percent now. I don't think that's enough to turn it on. Okay. I can remember. Ooh, yes. Hey, hey. Won't even have to use the bucket. There's a hole somewhere here. No, no, no. Oh, no. There's the hole. I got them all. Nice. Uh-oh. You used all. the bucket. <laughs> well, not really. Okay, no. this is... Lava. Lava, look out for the lava. Ah! <laughs> now, I won't use the snowflake. That's half damage, which seems to carry on, which will help with the lava. Ah. Yeah, it doesn't help that much. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I could just pick these up now, because it's just a one way. Yeah, yeah that's fine. I don't, I don't need to go back for that. Oh, I have to melt a bit. <laughs> yes, there are levels in this where you don't fit, and you have to melt yourself. Uh, still can't fit. You melt yourself a little bit. Oh, that's a bit too much. Might have been the amount you had to do. Oh, look at that. Your head oh, is Oh, now I do need to use that. Oh, no. This is bad. 
Oh my god. This is really bad. Oh, I'm only half damaged though. Down there. But where were you going? I had to go around to get those cubes. Didn't I? I don't know, maybe you did. Yeah, there's I felt a wall as though there. you didn't. But I there was a wall there. Clearly oh. not know what I'm <laughs> Yeah, so I guess there's a wall there. Yeah, but the uh no I have to go get that. Okay. Ah! Oh, I need it, I guess. Okay, now the stick. See now I have to go back around again. Uh, <laughs> see, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have picked up those ice cubes. No, that, that's an, not enough. But <laughs> I can get that guy. I got him once. You're gonna burn off a tiny bit. Away. Just once. Just once. Oh, that even left. Oh, you there we go. Tech. That's the amount you want to do. Okay. Now I think. Oh my God. I gotta get back quick because you do melt. I think. Okay, as long as I don't fall down. Oh. Okay. Why, why am I having so much trouble on this level this time around? This level is hard. Okay. Is this the Christmas yeah, tree? Yeah, this is the tree. Okay, so I should fall down? Yeah, but I think oh, maybe you want to win first. Yes. Get the present on the way down. The ice cubes. Nobody knows. <laughs> okay. Win first. Ooh, what was that? Oh, green truck. Okay, now get this. Get that. Now it's moving. Okay. That's good. Now I'm gonna get everything first. And the last present. And not that, and then fall down. Get that last present first. Yep. Now fall down. Yeah. Heep. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my God. Okay. The bonus level. <laughs> oh, there we go. Got the pipe. That's half damage. When do you get a button nose? Oh, no, it's a carrot nose? That was only like the first There's a corn pipe and a button nose. I think Frosty has a button ah. nose. I think you actually die in this, don't you? <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> that was it. That was very cool, but very deadly. Oh, but it was a bonus. You didn't lose. Oh, oh maybe you did lose the life. Uh, no, because it only shows it at the bottom. What's there now? You have the same amount of lives as you did earlier. So. Now, did I die in this level? Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, because I remember like a darky amount of griping. Okay, now about how you I finished it and then I fell down Damn the it. hole. Just like that. Yes. <laughs> the last time I reset everything by getting some gasoline. Oh not, yeah, that's right. I will not do that this time. Oh he keeps getting further away. Ah it can only go so far. Okay. Good. There, now we can't reset the gasoline because there's no gasolines left to reset. You can't fall down the hole though. Yes. I do not want that. Okay, go back. Get that guy. Get that guy. Get that guy. No. I'm not gonna get that present because I want to finish this level. Okay, now what? Where's the exit? Oh my god! And there's no ice cubes. Now I have to double jump to get on the exit. Oh yes, well, that was pretty easy. <gasps> <laughs> that was pretty great though. That you that was, just said it was a scrolling, uh... <laughs> a scrolling screen that tricked no. me. That was good. I want to continue. Go for it. Oh, yeah, okay. I have to go. Continue. Oh, to wow. Get over and continue. Out of time there. Okay. Just 
Just to be clear, you're cheating. <laughs> it allowed me in this I know game it, to do you it. know it, everybody knows it. You're cheating. Right okay, now. now I have to get back. Oh, three lives again. Yay! Back here. And now don't jump from the bottom and do a double jump up here. Or not. Or grab yourself a carrot. <gasps> you can freeze them. Oh my god. Oh, but don't. Oh, and oh. You... oh weird. Okay. Whoa, 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 they're mad. They're mad. Oh my god, did you see that? They're... But they're not mad now. Only when you have the carrot nose, they're mad. That's interesting. Get a carrot nose. <laughs> Don't want the carrot nose back. Oh, there's a fire way that I can't jump up, up there. there. Oh my yeah, god, you what? Can. You can do it. I have faith in you. Remember you have the Oh hats. no, I have to get the carrot. You have a magic hat. I don't have any fireballs. What does the carrot do for you? Oh, I see. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. But they only steal the carrot. Yeah. Um... I need the die. carrot. Yeah, but you don't... Because oh, I need the carrot to throw myself at the guy at top top. And if I oh, lose... is the carrot letting you throw balls? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, okay, this is hard. It's only level 10. Okay, I got that. And the problem is I got the... Um, I used up that snowflake right away. And okay, I have to wait till that guy is far away. Oh, but he touched me. Oh my god. He touched you in the, your uh, no, no place. Yes, he did. I'm not going to make this. <laughs> this is too hard. No! No! Yeah, yeah, you did yeah, it right. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. You did it right. <laughs> oh, I got an extra life. I think. Oh no, it just appeared on the screen. Yeah, it just flashes between the score and how many lives you have. Okay. So don't get the carrot. No, because that's just going to complicate things right now. And then I need to build myself up. Build, back. build up your uh, immunity. Almost to full, actually, as much as I can. I'm doing terribly. Terribly. Look, I'm, I'm barely ahead. Fuck. Okay, a little bit better. Ugh. Okay. Now we have some angry birds. Okay, and I lost the carrot. <laughs> and I'm tiny, and I'm dead. <laughs> But then at least there's a strategy now. <laughs> I want to see the chat. You want to see what? Oh, you can hit them. Topmost fireball by double jumping, I think. Oh, fireballs love carrots. Get the gas first, put out the fire. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a low one. That's the other one. What was his last one? You can hit... No need for a carrot. Oh, it can hit the topmost fireball by double jumping. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. The carrot is not helpful. <clears throat> but you could use the carrot to shoot those birds. Uh, oh, freeze them. Yeah. Yes, that is true. And then don't jump on them because jumping on them releases. That's right. I totally forgot about that because I did it immediately, but then... Forgot that was a thing. I'm continuing if I can. <laughs> Hopefully. Is there more than one continue? Is there infinite continues? I have to wait. Go oh, run, 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 run! Oh, one continue. One continue on. So not infinite. I must finish this level. Screen, look at that one! 
It's unfortunate the chat doesn't go back. I know it's annoying. I definitely will. But I have to freeze them in the right spot. So I've got a pretty good snowman going here. Oh, uh, press F6 and save. <laughs> Ignore them now? I think I will. Okay. I, I just think... have a little bit of neck left. I think it'll be enough. You can do it. Oh, I have to time it. Which I didn't do. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna die. Don't, don't, don't die on purpose. <laughs> Especially doing that, I will. Not this side. Maybe. Oh, is it too short? I'm too small. Too short. Too short. Too tiny. does just come back. Yeah. Oh, forget that. Get that noise. I'm too tiny now. Oh. I told you those birds were the hardest part. <laughs> oh, you did not believe me. You did not believe me. You need the carrot now. You're just going to have to risk it. Yeah, I do need the carrot now. And you can't throw it at any birds. <laughs> I can't? No. You don't have enough of you left. <laughs> That's true. Controller away <laughs> at this point. <laughs> like, I'm pretty close to being able to do it. I have like, no. Yeah, if I was that close, I would perhaps continue. <laughs> No, no, I'm not big enough. Okay. Okay. I got it. Come on, Fireball. Yes. There you go. Oh. You did it. You did it. Yay! <laughs> You're right. Yeah, Why is that guy freezer. floating in the oh, middle there's of a nowhere? Freezer on top. Oh, I don't know what that does. That probably makes you totally cold. Got a pipe now, which is good. Half damage. Freezer maybe res no, we already have a reset. Look at that fat oh my god, he's huge. Get him. Just just get him. Oh he just takes more hits. Oh, it's just the level's huge. <laughs> it's huge. Well, I'm not gonna touch that that ice big ice bucket yet. You should. You gotta find out what it does. I guess so. Yeah, oh, full re yeah, yeah, full restore. Oh, yeah. the because it's the ice is melting so quick. Because it's a freezer, right? Right. Oh, there's more than one. Okay. Why is the ice melting on this level so quick? Oh, the, I won't get that. Yet. That's oh. Oh well. It's just two, right? It's not three screens wide. Good. <laughs> That'd be too many. Okay, not too bad. <laughs> Look, the ice is gone. It's almost gone. Oh. That's not helpful at all. Oh my god. How do I get that guy? Alright. A snowball, maybe. There's a parent. Yeah, oh, yeah. I throw. I throw a little bit of you on him. Yeah, but. Okay, good. But I'm so tiny, I need replenishment so badly. <laughs> I think there is a bucket there. That's what I need. Okay. 
I know it was a little bit early, but I need it so badly. I need to get across here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oof. Oof. It's too tiny. This one takes a lot of strategy. Okay. It takes a lot of not to run around. <laughs> ah, come on. Too early. You got a lot of knots going around. And you, gotta, uh, you just gotta move. Move do quick, all quick, those quick. Things before you. As quick as possible. Because everything's super melty. You wanna get those while you have room for them. Oh, that's true. Before they get low. Because they're just disappearing anyway. I have lost my pipe. Ah, ah. There, good. Okay. I'm gonna go get that big fridge. Fridge, if I can, which I can't. Ugh. You can't. You just have to go down. Oh! Is that it? That's it. That the yeah. Ice check equals full health. You and the ice are melting faster as the sun is out. Oh, across the top. Oh yeah, yeah. That. Is there instructions? Yeah. Let's read the instructions. But we've had them... <laughs> that is true. <laughs> that is true by the person who made the game. Yeah. So there's probably more stuff as the as the game goes on, but I'm not skilled enough to make it there. What level did I make it? 11? Yeah, 11. I think so. Yeah. So that's Stay Frosty. That was kind of cool we could have it rotating. <laughs> so I have two copies of Stay Frosty. This one is the Atari Age Holiday Greetings 2014. Number 157. Oh. Let's move that aside. And move on to our last game of the day. Well, you only have one copy of Stay Frosty, because the other one doesn't work. Yeah, that is... Sell very, it on eBay. Very bad. Oh, that's so I'm just sad. Kidding. No, I'm not selling it on eBay. I'm going to clean the contacts. <laughs> Unless it's internal components that have died. Yeah. Because my, um... My, uh... Harmony cart did die on me, um, but luckily the guy who made it oh, yeah, that's right. was at Portland Retro Gaming Expo and fixed it for me. Oh, my computer's so slow. I'm trying to switch back. There we go. So let's switch back to full of us. There we go. And so, <clears throat> third game of the day is Draconian. Save the best for last. Mm -hmm. Spiceware Draconian. Look at that cover. Awesome. Put out. It looks very cool. As well by Atari Age. Draconian. Blast off. As pilot of the space fighter Draconian, your mission is to destroy enemy space stations sector by sector until they're all wiped out. Alert! Alert! Your task won't be easy. The enemy stations will relentlessly attack you with aggressive missiles and a barrage of defensive fire. Battle stations. These are all the thing. Okay. Those those big um, titles there. It says mm -hmm. blast off, alert, alert, battle station, spy ship sighted, uh, condition red. Mm -hmm. There is a voice in the game that says all those things. Ah, it's digitized that's voice. Amazing. And is the first cartridge released game with voice while you're playing for the Atari 2600. Uh, battle stations. That's Formation cool. of missiles will gang up and hunt you down. But if you take out the lead missile, the others will scatter. Spy ship sighted. If you need one of the enemy's spy ships, you will need to destroy it immediately. If it escapes, it will report your position and then condition red. The enemy will throw everything it has at you. Can you survive long enough to move on to the next sector? Good luck. The galaxy is counting on you. Draconian has all the excitement you'd find in a classic arcade game. Which one could that be? <laughs> <laughs> it was originally called Bosconian in the arcade. Ah. And until he started um, putting out like beta versions of this, I hadn't, ha hadn't thought of Bosconian since I played it back in the 80s in the arcade. And then I'm like, oh my god, I played this game a lot in the arcade. Because <laughs> I hadn't seen it since then. It is a, I remember having so much fun on that. Um, 
featuring digitized voices, a radar scanner, enemy formation display, over 48 unique sectors, and much, much more. Uh, 2017 by Daryl Spice Jr., published by Atari Age. Now this is the most advanced 2600 game I have ever seen in terms of graphics, sound, everything, everything. Unbelievable. So let's switch over to this cam here. So there's the cover. We can see ourselves in the background. <laughs> Let's see if I can open this up without damaging it. Oh, can you man the camera? Uh, or would you rather keep it there? It's it's better because okay. it's just I, I look at it and I can see it jiggering, jiggling, jiggling around, and people are probably getting sick. Not sick. They just want to stop watching. <laughs> we don't want that. Oh, I did it without a uh, little bend. No, there. you definitely didn't. Look at that. Little bend. Oh, see I can't believe you ruined that it. packaging. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Okay, there's the Draconian cartridge, it's easier taking out the bottom. See what we get in here. Is excellent. Now this is awesome. The USS Draconian NMC 1981 Nakamura class space fighter. Hayes huh? manual. Yes. And this is awesome. Get that out of the way. Really complete manual. Beautiful color. Great uh, screenshots and graphics in here. Drawn stuff. Beautiful. Uh, we did have the right uh, difficulty set to A, so that it, that does explain why there was no music during the last. Uh, oh no! Uh, Stay frosty. Oh no! Oops. Sorry about that. Uh, so there's the enemies. There's an E-type space stations. That is your goal to blow up the space stations. Um, there's also space mines, right there. And there are also... Oops, that's a lot of polygons for a car. <laughs> that is a lot of <laughs> polygons. But it can pump it out with that coprocessor, yeah. the DPC Plus processor. Um, ooh, lots of points for the spy ship. Uh, destroy all, e all the ships in the E-type formation. Okay. Formations come in different arrangements. There's a V-shape across, straight line, and kind of a X. Um, in the lower right-hand corner, there is the uh, radar. It tells you where the base stations are. Mm -hmm. So let's jump into it. And hopefully this works. Because <laughs> I haven't tried it yet. Oh, we got a black screen. Yeah. Oh. Is it coming? There we go. Switch over to that. Beautiful. Do we have Beautiful sound screen. that we'll hear onto this? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's just check the manual to make sure no biggie. Plays more sound effects if you have the music turned off. Plays more sound effects. Oh, okay. So we heard more sound effects and not music. But I don't remember hearing. Actually, I do remember hearing sound effects. Okay. Yes. Um, okay, let's make sure we have the difficulty set correctly this time. Um, sector options. Okay, difficulty, TV type. Difficulty switches are not used in Draconian, so we don't... So, so it's okay. okay. Yeah. And actually, now that we're on the... I switch back, actually, for a second to this camera. Because it also comes with a beautiful poster. And it looks familiar. Does it? Yeah. Like, like it's modeled after? Like maybe at the, the front? Model. Yeah. <laughs> at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, it had, there was a huge one. Like it was, like huge. It would, I would have loved that. But I'm sure that went back home with Al or probably just Al. <laughs> or Daryl might have got it. Okay. So let's start at the beginning. And I'm going to let you play first. 
There you go. Have you played this one before? Many, many, many times. Oh, but times. this one. On the cartridge, no. I don't think there's much difference between... I think he put out this exact version. I don't know if there's any last-minute changes. I'll turn it up a bit. So you can hear the, the voice effects in the game. Alert, alert. Oh, I blew up. <laughs> so there's... Um, there's the mines, there's the asteroids. Look at the, there's a star field that's parallax scrolling as well. I hit a mine. <laughs> Don't stay away from the mines completely. So you want to hit the gr hit the core of the green ships by shooting through the the openings. Those ships will just keep coming. So yeah, there you go. And you can see on the radar down in the bottom right where to go to the next one. Oh. Ah. Uh, blast I'd like to, off. I'd like to have the... Uh... What? <laughs> what happened there? I don't know. Okay, play again. Your game was too short. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like criticism. No, your no. game was too short. Why is your too game short. not so long? Why is your... Never mind. <laughs> So it's not okay, randomized. Right. Um, actually, I think that, did he include a randomized? He was gonna do uh, Quadrant E and all the, I think he did, yeah. So there's a randomization level as well that you can set it to. Oh. Yeah, what? it'd be helpful if they could see what we're playing. Oh, I was doing really good. <laughs> he was there. doing awesome. Was he killed. Doing so he good. actually completed the game, <laughs> and it's. But I didn't want anyone to feel like I was doing uh, too well, he so did I just said that I was doing bad. Yeah, he did a complete speed run of Draconium oh, in oh. under thirty seconds. Did you do it? Beat Sector One. Yeah. Much better game this time. What? No, no, it's much. Uh, so Spice Nobody's falling for our ruse. <laughs> so Spiceware says Nathan created the 4K and 5K desktop background versions uh, of the poster, and he linked it in the, the chat. Which unfortunately, the chat is lost to the ages after this. No, it actually it's not. I don't think. So it's in the chat for the link. Um, it's also in the Atari Age forums. Yeah, just search for Draconian um, background in the Atari Age forums. And, uh, okay. I will start. Sector 1. And were you pressing the button or holding it down? I was pressing. Are you just holding it down? Yeah. So it does help. <laughs> Makes it easier so you don't have to hold it down. I actually haven't played this with a joystick. I've just been playing it on my keyboard through emulation. So this is actually the first time I've played it on... Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> on an Atari. So I actually never loaded it onto my... Uh, my uh, multi -card. I have to say, I'm very impressed with the scrolling and the mini-map. Very, very yes. good. Yes, yes. And the parallax scrolling of the stars. Even though the stars would not parallax though. But in video games I do. Oh, it closed off. The stars are so far away they don't change. <laughs> it's like the moon. Uh, well, this is... Uh, the the ship is the size of the galaxy. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So... Oh, uh, my god. Terrible. Why was this so much easier on the emulator? <laughs> Alarm, alarm. Maybe I was playing on easy mode on the emulator. Alarm, alarm. It's a good idea to clear out your area of all the debris before you start shooting the ship so that you have a path to Oh, there's like eight ships in this one. And they're close to each other. Alarm, alarm. Which is somewhat advantageous, especially when they're in a line like that. Ah. <laughs> Super easy. Free life. And 
a good tactic is to fly away from a ship that's attacking you because you can. Yeah. Because you can shoot from. Oh. Got hit with the flak guns. Yeah. There's a lot of tiny flak flying around. And it's very tiny. Hopefully, graphics and Atari is small. Or big on this screen. Oh. Uh, oh, thought I would have got that guy. that guy. Last guy to get this quadrant in the sector. Ah, 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 that was close. Come on, there we go. She fires at you. Yep. Oh, it's in the question mark. I like that there's an exhaust port, and all you have to do is just oh, now we shoot. fire a uh, photon from the <laughs> Yes, they have a very big weakness that they haven't seem to catch on to uh, oh, this one. Oh, it's now the other way. That's snakey. Dang. Oh, and you can't shoot the, the flag. A lot, so. a lot. And you notice how much stuff is on the screen at a time? Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. With just minor, minor, minor flicker. Okay, I gotta look at my mini map there. There we go. Battle See, you shoot the head ship and they'll fly away. Uh, I think those must be the missiles then. The missiles are the red ones that come out from the middle of the green faces. But it says when the, a swarm of missiles comes, they all attack you, but if you shoot the head one, then... Were they called missiles? I thought that's what they were called. Maybe oh. Uh, let's see... Formations. Yeah, smart missiles. Yeah, that's right. Mine debris equals deadly. Oh, there's mine debris. I didn't notice that. You gotta watch when you shoot, shoot a mine. Next time you shoot a mine. Shoot the mine. Oh, it does spread out a bit. It does spread out a bit. Yeah, oh, yeah, the... Uh, the uh, the asteroids um, don't explode huge, but the mines spread out like, like nine times as big. Oh, oh. Gotta leave a bit of room. Leave a bit of room. Tiny. <laughs> and the way it's colored, it's just barely visible. It makes it super, super hard. Yeah, the uh, the flicker handling in this game is amazing because of how many enemies are on the screen at any one time. Because there's your ship, there's mines, there's asteroids, there's enemy ships, there's missiles from coming from from the ship. What we're going to do is go to Quadrant Delta, which is the ones that were made by all the fans that were sent in. Um, I can't remember which sector mine is. Um, so let's just start with Sector 1. Now I do remember what what I made. I made, um, I did some pandering levels. <laughs> I made some that said D and S for Daryl Spice. And then another one that said JR for Junior. <laughs> um, and then I did a... What did I do? This one does not have an exhaust port. Well, it's kind of protected because they doubled it up. They doubled the ship up. Yeah, I think you have to blow up all of the first thing before you can get the second one, maybe. Yes. Definitely. So it looks like there's only four bases, but... There we go. 
Because there are two ways to destroy the, sh the enemy bases. Mm -hmm. One is to shoot the exhaust port. And, and the other one is to destroy all the pods around the outside. And I'm... Actually, the most impressive part of this game is that he was able to program it so you could double up the enemy bases on screen at the same time. Like, overlay the same ship on top of each other. Unbelievable. Double kill, nice. So this isn't one of the ones that I made. Wasn't isn't one of the levels that I made. Mine were mostly spelling. <laughs> I think I was spelling things out or making patterns. This one seemed to be more tactical type base uh, design, base layout. Um, and how it was done is that it was done through a text file, and you you typed in the coordinates of where the base. Was. Where the bases were, mm -hmm. um, and you could do it two ways. One was a a fine or, or a, like one fifteen different spots you could put them, and it would stagger them out. Um, and that was like zero through fifteen or something. And then what was that? I don't know what that green ship. It's doing just on the hard left. That's dead now. <laughs> um, and then there's another way to do it where it was very fine control. Oh my god, get off my tail. <laughs> very fine controls and you could place them pretty much anywhere. Like 0 to 255, I think it was. So you could do some pretty crazy overlaps. But I don't think you could have two more than two on the screen at the same time. Two enemy bases. Because they're just too too much to handle. Or maybe two on top of each other, two, more than two overlapping. Oh, too many things. <laughs> it's pretty too intense. Many. It is. Oh, oh, good. Finally. I think we're. I don't need, were we on the. Oh my god, that was close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are we on the easy level too? Uh, oh. And this, this is the one I did. Uh, I'm really, really glad this one got uh, in. Because it spelled out the Atari logo, uh, the uh, Mount Fuji. Right. Um, um, and the word, do uh, you know what the word Atari means? No. It means the final move. Ah, uh, okay. In the game Go, as right, you said. I believe. Now somebody can correct me. Go. Uh, it says that your levels Windy. are 3, 5, 9, and 14. Oh, thank you, Spice. 3, 5, 9, and 14. I guess I'm on level 3 right now. Come on. Wrap around. Like the ship is spinning or something. And the core is partly protected. Oh, inside the green. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's what's happening, but it looks like it. Yeah. Oh. There's too many. I came from behind. Too many. I don't care. I will defeat my level. I mean, if you... Eventually. Yes, eventually. <laughs> you think... If you made the game, or you made a level, you should be able to defeat that game or level. No. <laughs> but that's not true. Ask Richard can... Garfield about that and uh, Magic the Gathering. <laughs> He's not a great player. He can... I mean, there's always going to be somebody better. In Magic the Gathering is not like you're playing against a computer, you're playing against people. Yep. So there's always going to be a better person. Yeah, but, but by the virtue of your... your uh, oh, that's true, you should know yeah, all the tricks. Oh, you know all the tricks, and therefore blah blah blah, right? That's true, you should know every combo, every best tactic with every deck, right, in Magic. Except that that's not true. No. <laughs> There's always somebody that knows something that you haven't thought of, and you can't memorize everything. Yeah. 
and I'm sure he didn't make every card either. And he didn't practice playing it, like, it was important. He just made the game, it was pretty cool, and then, uh, let it go to the crowd. Ah! Ah! Yeah, go away! Come on. There you go. Okay. Sector 3. Die, 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 die. This, this, this is this sector three? Oh, that doesn't make any sense. So my that was the Atari your Atari logo is level nine. Oh, okay. So let's go to level nine. Was there? I guess that looked similar to an Atari logo. Oops. Let's take a look at my Atari logo. <laughs> Well, that's a much better story. Uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny so, that you didn't recognize it. Well, the other one's <laughs> similar, right? It's spaced out similar. Whoa! Whoa, why is this firing like crazy? It's, it's level 9. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> why is level 9 so much harder than level 1? <laughs> I don't understand! It's not fair! You just got two bases at, at one time. That is the advantage of putting the exhaust ports right next to each other. It's a very bad tactic. My watch believes it's time for us to do some exercise. It is pretty I'm much very time. impressed with all the chaos on the screen. It is a lot of chaos. It's not the Atari symbol anymore, but... No, I have destroyed it. See the tactics of those guys? They don't fly straight behind you. They kind of they come ease, in a curve. ease themselves into it. They know what they're doing. Just to get lots of points. Ah. You're dodging that flak pretty good. Come on. Ah. What? Oh, one more. It's funny, sometimes you make the... God damn it noise right as you blow the ship up and so I'm not sure if you know what's happening. <laughs> so you blow up the ship and you're like ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Okay. Three three what is this? Three, five, nine and Yeah, are you on three now? No. I have three lives. Oh, okay. I'm on level ten. So actually let's Oh that's cool. Keep playing the music. Five. You didn't do three yet. I think. Okay. Or you did start at three, but then it's mine. Quick. Okay, three. Oh, see? What? Does that spell out junior? Ah, yes. Oh, but you're also junior. Yeah. I meant let's suck up. <laughs> <Suck up. Yeah. laughs> but it wasn't him that decided them. It was the crowd. So it worked either way. Yay! Uh, oh. I made my level hard. So even if the exhaust port is closed, you can just like hammer at it, yeah. and, it, and enough hits will take it down. So that's just generally a tactic I always go for. It's so much harder to get rid of all the pods. Whoa! That's like a mass. Yeah, okay, where am I going? Maybe there was a muscle. You can oh! You have to leave one. Okay. That's true. But, th but it works to be the similar same. with the other ships, too. It does. Uh oh That's a bad noise. That is a bad noise. Okay. Yeah, that that was the. Uh, Did I do five? You didn't do five. Yet. Okay. That I would guess was. Oh, it's had on the back of the box. Huh? And this was just a a, a pattern. Nothing special. A kind of cool pattern. And I spread them out. Um, the base is out as far as I could, so you had to travel mm. a lot more distance in this one. And put three together so it's a, so they had a pretty good defense. Oh! You got totally nailed with the crowbar there. I did.
but they're running into the... <laughs> I don't think they have any spatial awareness of where the, um, they're just flying at you. the things are in space. Because <laughs> they're just... Get, 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 get. Yeah, they're just flying straight for me, and they're like, ah, who cares about the mines? Come on. Shoot. Next door neighbors. No, there's nobody in the house. No, nope. my wife is away. Oh. In Seattle. Oh, for the day. Who will be back tonight? Snow? I wonder if there's snow No, there's snow there. There's snow there. Actually, I'm kind of worried because there's supposed to be like a foot of snow there and here. People don't know we are in Vancouver, British Columbia, so Canada. So she's gonna have had two feet of snow. Uh, is that how that works? No. <laughs> I put a snow here, there, and here. Yes. Okay. Now we're gonna go for level 15. 14. 14? Yeah. Okay. 14. Now what did I put as level 14? What did he put? Big chat. <laughs> Definitely getting more used to the gamepad controls, I think, now. Now, this one's not too bad because they're all kind of in a row. Of course, I'm on level 14, <laughs> so it's out of control. It's too many. There's so many, so many ships. <laughs> Let's go for the outmost check mark. That's where the the uh, boat with your name on it was. Yes. I could almost see it written on the ship. But I think I ran into the ship, so I took him out with me. Which overall in the war doesn't help, but the battle it does. <laughs> <laughs> But the battle is a very minor part of the war. Oh, oh goodness. God. Oh, goodness. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that my was... God. There's so much happening. <laughs> Relentless <laughs> bullets coming from that guy. Oh, my God. Oh, oh flack in the face. I wonder if you could kamikaze into the green. No. I don't think so. I think it's too much, too many defenses. Your, your wings are too wide. To get in there. <laughs> yes. But even taking out, like, a pod. I wonder if we can take out a pot. Oh, maybe. Come on. Ah. Uh. Uh. Okay, there. One more. One more. I will have defeated my levels. Let's see if you can make the right noise when you do it. Uh. <laughs> that was the noise I was hoping for. Uh oh. This one looks pretty good. Whoa. Really? Almost. Well, those things only go straight. I know, but... You should be able to defeat them immediately. I didn't touch him. What the hell was that? Well, you got him, though. You suicided him. Did it destroy him? It, it like did. It. He blew up. Yeah. Okay. Quadrant E. Started Sector 1. This is the random levels. Yeah, and this is on normal difficulty. After this, I'm going to try it on extreme difficulty. What are the difficulty levels called? You named uh, number 14. Check this out. <laughs> Aren't I punny? You're very uh, honorific. <laughs> and I named number five bases and outposts. That's what those four things were. Uh, so we're playing... Uh, quadrant E, Epsilon, randomly generated. So, Quadrant A was the Midway Arcade levels, Quadrant B, Beta, Namco Arcade levels, Gamma, Draconian Contributors, uh, and Delta, submitted by Atari Age members. Um, and if you haven't checked out Atari Age forums, I would definitely, definitely check them out. Um, I 
doubt you're here and not knowing about the Atari Age forums at this point, but there's a lot of people making um, a whole bunch of homebrew right there, and you can download and play it in the emulator Stella, all the homebrew, and they release works in progress, which is really, really cool. Um, because you can, you know, test them out and give feedback, and that's what happened with this game, just like almost every other game um, that get, gets posted in there, because the programmers um, hang out in there, and you can talk about uh, the games that are happening and even ask them questions how they did it. And it's a really great um, community, because you can learn um, as you go, and a lot of people just start making their own games in there, and um, there's lots of links to, um, you know, instructional. You can Kamikaze it. Mm -hmm. Or did you? Yeah, I did. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. And if you're like stuck on how to do, say, a random generator, random number generator, or how to divide by 13 or some, some strange thing like that on an Atari 2600, that would be the place to ask. And somebody has done it somewhere um, in a game. Or if they haven't done it somewhere and you've got some unique game that you're trying to um, uh, get done, somebody's gonna help you. So I'm gonna switch back to Quadrant Alpha, but I'm gonna crank it up to hard level. Actually, let's go. We've already played Quadrant Alpha, so let's go to Quadrant Beta. And this is on hard. So you can see the ship and the asteroid and the miner on the same line there, and they're flickering. Yeah. But as soon as I get off, yeah. I'm on my own line, yeah. and then you can have the two. I'm explaining things, but anything with only one or two doesn't flicker. But as soon as you put three things on, it starts flickering. And really, really old original games, like back in the first year, a couple years yeah. of um, programming, they would either um, not put two things on the same line, like they'd program the game where there would just never be more than two things, right? or um, like in the case of the original Pac-Man that they released for the 2600, they just made it flicker all the time. Uh, yes. They would keep you as the non-flicker, and they would flicker the ghosts one fifteenth of the, one quarter of the time. So right, it'd be right. one ghost, the second ghost, the third ghost, the fourth ghost. Um, and it was terrible. Four things flickering? <laughs> it, it's brutal. And, and that was a big, big complaint of the original Pac-Man game. Yeah. Um, as opposed to, I mean, that was probably the worst part of, oh my god, <laughs> hard is hard, like you don't yeah. even have a chance to breathe. Yeah. Um, you were breathing. Plus I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> but yeah, that was the biggest complaint of the original Pac-Man game for the 2600. Besides, I mean, they didn't do the mazes the same, the sounds weren't the same, um, colors weren't the same, but those could all be forgiven. You know, it's like, oh, Pac-Man with different levels, Pac-Man with different sounds, who cares? It's the same going through a maze and eating pellets. But the flicker was, was brutal. It was unbelievably brutal. Yeah. Um, but as with most games back in back when they originally put out with the 2600, it was one guy programming it, yeah. doing all the artwork, all the sound, all the programming, and under extreme pressure, to put out the game as soon as possible because these games are in the arcade. Yeah, yeah. And the faster they could get them into the home, it's blocking me from destroying the ship. The faster they can get into the home before everybody was sick of the game, the more money they could make. So they were put on really tight deadlines. Yeah. I remember him, uh, I saw somewhere in some interview where he was like, I don't know. Like, because they had the. Uh, yeah, Todd Fry. The, 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 the passages were on the top and bottom instead of on the sides, and he's yes. like, I don't know, I, I, I thought, oh, it's a passage, like, who cares if it's on the top and the bottom? People were really upset. <laughs> but I mean, yeah. I think, yeah, it's not just a passage, it's like, there's an aesthetic to it. Like, yeah. Like, what Pac-Man looks like. Not looking like that means it's not really Pac-Man, it's like... It's a different... It's like, 
if you have a welfare burger, you know, it's like, it's not, it's not the same. It might be hamburger shaped, but it's not. It's not a hamburger. And, I mean, that's true. I mean, I guess, I mean, nobody overseeing the game even said that. Like, Atari didn't say, oh, you have to make it exactly like this. They're like, yeah. yeah you don't even know. It's like, looks like Pac-Man. I don't know what Pac-Man looks like. <laughs> They're like, it, does it, is it a Maisie game? Yeah, <laughs> works, yeah, put it out. <laughs> and the thing is, it sold like crazy, like it was a huge hit. Yeah. Because it's Pac-Man, right? And when I played it back in the 80s, I thought it was awesome. I thought it was fun. It's a Pac-Man game. You're eating ghosts and, you know, the ghosts turn blue just like in the game. And, and it's still Pac-Man. I mean, the, the people who made original games had more time. I'm sure they had still had a deadline of you need to put a game out every X yeah. months or once a year or twice a year or however what the deadline was. Because they wanted to make money and they wanted to put out 20 games every quarter or something. Because they had a definite scheme in mind, I'm sure. But the original games, like, say, Pitfall, you know, he could he could concentrate on making it as good as he wanted, and that was like a masterpiece. And and you know, relating that to homebrew nowadays, um, this game took years, years to make, and it wasn't just one person. I mean, um, Daryl did um, the programming, but um, like the level design and the art. Well, I mean, back in the day, artwork. Artwork was done by a different person because the, the like program the box. box. Yeah, for the box. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, because the game programmers weren't artists. Yeah. I mean, they made the art for the game, but that was fairly simple. Like, there's only eight bits across. <laughs> there's only so many different characters you can do. Wow, that's a lot of flack. That is a lot of flack. What is going on? Oh, my screen is jumping, jumping around. I don't know why. There are quite a few things on oh, the screen. Oh, I can't believe I survived that. Do you think it's stuck on the screen? Well, Must but be. The numbers are not jumping. Oh, uh, were they? There's sprites now. Uh -oh. The screen is still jumping. Gotta release uh, version 1.1 and 1.1 then. What? It and fix it. Of the what? game. No, it's just that from exactly what you were saying, the more things you have on one line, the more flickering. Oh, the have. flickering. I thought, yeah. but it felt like it was actually jumping, like the actual screen was like jumping a bit up yeah, and it's down. Because it was flickering sometimes. <laughs> 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 I could be wrong, but that's what I thought was happening. But yeah, um, now these programmers have um, all the tricks, all documented. Um, they have a lot more time. I mean, but they don't have the financial incentive, I guess, if you needed that. <laughs> but I mean, people back when they're programming in the 70s and 80s, these, this is their, their job. So, getting it done fast, they needed to, to get it done fast. Because otherwise, they're not getting paid. So this is significantly harder. <laughs> yeah. But I am adapting to it. Like, yeah. uh, you're just zooming through the. Uh... One more game for you. Oh. All right. And then we will call it a day. Don't worry, it won't take long. <laughs> hard, I think it's hard. still on hard level. <laughs> I'm just flying away. I'm not even gonna try to land. I'm just trying to. <laughs> but this, 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 I think is probably. The most amazing accomplishment on a 2600 I have ever seen. Like overall, um, like different games have different strengths, but I think in terms of like overall, like the number of enemies on the screen flying around, like this this game gives me hope. Flew right into that mine. <laughs> yeah, but I was flying away from something else, and the mine was there. It's true. This game game gives me hope that one day possibly. Galaga could be made on the Atari 2600, but I doubt it. It's it's like take this and multiply by at least three for the ships, the number of ships, because they do like loop-de-loops. You know, part of the problem is that I turn 
I turn, I don't switch. Oh, you like turn. Yeah, so like sometimes I run into something because I'm turning away from it instead of just going the other direction. Yeah, this pilot can take the two points. <laughs> like, boom, switches around. He's got like five G's going opposite direction. The engine's just full force, <laughs> immediate. <laughs> So that is Draconian, and I am so happy to have got this little um, prize. It's that, it's that great model. That's it's, did that's, you switch it? No, I'm just showing it in the little bottom corner there. Oh, I didn't even know it was down there. Yeah, yeah, that's I've got, good. I like I've got that. two cameras, so we can have like, I don't know what it was aiming at. I guess it was showing me playing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, we should have the this twirling around. There we go. But that's that's a really cool prize, the three D printed yep. model. And third place. As voted by the peoples. Thank <laughs> the you. The peoples spoke. And when the people speak in favor of you, the peoples are right. When you, the people speak in uh, against you, they're wrong. They are wrong. Yes. And um Daryl Spice Jr. had one that was glow in the dark, the, the green thing. It was all white, so I'm wondering if that is glow in the dark, the stand, do you think? Of course we can't tell. So many lights in here. It is not. It should be well charged by now with it is not. photons. <laughs> no? Sorry. That's okay. It would be kind of silly to have that tiny little stand. Um, silly? It would be insane. It would be totally wrong if that was the case. <laughs> oh, actually, I guess he did it in the order that was voted because I got third place and my level was three. Ah. That makes sense. Trippy. That makes sense. So let's take a look at these. These games here that we played. Turn that off. Let's switch over. See I should switch over before I turn it off. See? Oh. Come on. There we go. No input. So these are the three games that we played today. Started out with uh, Medieval Mayhem, then went to Frosty 2, and then ended up at Draconian, all programmed by Daryl Spice Jr. Um, with help from various people. Um, I mean, it's really a community effort um, when making these games. But usually it's um, it's usually it's Daryl Spice answering the questions to everyone else, and not uh, <laughs> Daryl answering the, asking the questions to other people. And um, I'll probably do I'm going to be doing like a proper review of each of these games eventually. Um, I did an unboxing um, the other day of Draconian and a bunch of the other. Um, new games that I got that are up on the shelf now. So I'll be putting that out um, probably next week, maybe late next week. And I'll also be starting on a programming series, programming for the Atari 2600. I know nothing about Atari uh, program, well, very little about program for the Atari 2600. I know the basics. So you guys will be learning along with me, but I have to stay one step ahead. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll be going, I don't know how this works. You tell me. End of episode. <laughs> but we'll be starting out with the basics, like um, graphics and sound and like general overview stuff. And a lot of that stuff uh, dictates what type of games can be made on the 2600. I mean, Draconian is, is an exception. That seems to be like, throw the rules out the window. We can draw anything we want on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was very good. Yeah, so I they're all amazing in their own way because they're very, very different games. Um, like Medieval Mayhem is like a great multiplayer game. It is really good. Yeah, and I having I'll probably do another Let's Play again with that, and we'll have four people uh, yeah, over. We'll that'd bring be good. bring Corey over, and maybe have Tanya in, or or have you know multiple people. Yep. Um, but that's a great party game. If you're looking to pick up a game, all these can be um, purchased at Atari Age. I don't know if 
um, the boxes are, are still sold because usually the boxes are only available for a limited time right. when they first come out. So I'm always I would buy them immediately because otherwise they run out of boxes. Um, and then you can get the cartridge with the box. Yeah, oh. you can get the cartridge, which it's cheaper too. So there's an advantage if you just want the game and you don't want a, a nice fancy looking box and you want to, and you can buy the cartridge right away too by itself. Um, but I like the artwork is is awesome in this. Um, yeah, and then um, then we played Stay Frosty, and I love platformers, and that is a challenging, challenging platformer. <laughs> yes. So there's, I think I made it to level 11, and there's 32 levels, and I was nowhere near the end. So there's a lot of gameplay to be had in that. And then Draconian, obviously, is a ton of gameplay. How many levels did it say? I can't remember, but there's... Even if you finish all the levels, there's still quadrant um, quadrant E, and that's with all the bonus ones. And that's well, that's randomly generated. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, 16, 16, You can oh, you can choose to start from the first sixteen, so it doesn't let you actually go to all of them unless you actually earn it. <laughs> Does it say how many in here? Maybe Daryl will chime in after the lag is over. <laughs> I don't know how much lag there is, but um, I'm sure it does say somewhere in here. Um, but there's infinite gameplay because... Yeah, they're all missiles. All of them. So they all originate from the green... Yeah, so that's, that's, that explains what it said about shooting the head one and the rest mm. of them going off. It's just all of the ships are actually missiles. So they're just different types of missiles yeah. that have different... Oh, that's what we were seeing. The spy ship. Yeah, and it's the one if you if it escapes, then it you get back. you get tons of people coming and ah, are like crashing your party. So that would help. I should shoot that immediately when you see it, because otherwise it says, "Hey, over here, guys." Yeah. Oh, he's looking. Spiceware is looking. <laughs> so he doesn't know how many levels there are. <laughs> <laughs> I would guess. 255 or 128 or 64 or 32 one of those magic numbers um, so draconian absolutely amazing if you like shooters that is definitely one of the best shooters on the I would say well I mean they're all different but one of the best shooters on the Atari 2600 because most of the ones um, are on the bottom your ship is on the bottom and you don't fly they yeah. just come in Oh, it was great. And that's by design, because yeah. then they could have you and not have flickering on the top, right? Yeah, yeah. And so it's, it I was I was amazed at how many things were on the screen and how many things were coming in. Yeah. It was no, it didn't slow down, right? It was full, no. full speed the whole time. It was really amazing. Yeah. yeah it's really great. Because you expect, like, crappiness or slowness as it as it fills up and it's like no it just gets more intense it yeah. just gets crazy. it was like super cobra in that uh from last time right in that it's a game yeah. on the atari 2600 and it's not missing anything it's not it's like that's right the graphics are you know not high def or anything but they are completely functional you're when you're playing it you're not feeling like oh this is scale down to, i have to suspend disbelief like you get what's happening it's all there all the actions there yeah. all the possibilities of the only thing is if you have a complaint is that you know there's limited in the graphics but even that like you just don't feel that no like, they are sufficient it's like yeah. a modern games yeah like you can set up the graphics at the lower or higher yeah and it doesn't after you start playing mean, it disappears you get used to it yeah, you, yeah, yeah they're just blobs and stuff yep i mean it's nice to look at it first um but yeah, the graphics are the only thing. It's, it, it, there's no ships missing. There's no there's no part of the original Bosconian that is missing from this this version. Everything is in it, and everything is just looks the same except pixely or like you know half the resolution. But who cares? Yeah. They fly the same. And that's not what Atari games felt like when I saw them growing up. They did not feel like they were a genuine representation of the no. arcade. They almost never like lived up to the arcade in like what happened like on the play. screen like yeah game like play. forget graphics but graphics you, gameplay you knew the graphics weren't gonna be as good it. yeah and and a lot of people a lot of the homebrews like um like daryl are going back like bosconian was never released because anybody thinking ever to put that on the 2600 would be like no that's impossible yeah 
but um, some of them like Donkey Kong or Pac-Man, they're going back. Like this Pac-Man 4K, there's actually an 8K that destroys this one too. But they go back and correct history's mistakes <laughs> and make them so like the exits are on the sides rather than the top and less flickering and the mazes are proper um, and the ghosts behave properly. Like in the, the original Pac-Man for 2600, the ghosts were like just doing whatever they feel like. <laughs> but these are programmed the same way the ghosts are. Oh, yeah. And I believe the ghosts in the original were all the same color, too. And these are actually the color, the four colors yeah. of the ghosts. Yeah, I seem to recall that was the case. Yeah. 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 Um, so, A equals seven. Oh, they're different number of levels for the Draconian. There's 17 levels on A. But it repeats the last repeats six. Repeats the last six. Um, 22 for B, for so beta. 16. Some of the beta so 11, levels 11, 16. Same. Okay. Gamma's nine, repeats all nine. Oh, just over and over again. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, I see repeat. So it's 17, 22, but then you do the last... Uh, X number. And then the just gets harder and okay. harder and harder. <clears throat> um, Delta, 16, which makes sense, because there were 16 winners um, to the or entries that he put in, and then it repeats them over and over again. Alpha levels, uh, Midway Arcade, Beta levels, Namco Arcade. So I guess there's two different versions of the arcade game put out, different levels. That's very cool that you're able to replicate. So that's what I was saying. He's taking the arcade exact as close as you can, except for graphics, and putting them on a cartridge. Yep. Um, and I think that's so awesome. That's pretty that, amazing. That people are doing that with all the new advances in technology like this has another computer inside it. <laughs> um, I don't think the medieval mayhem does. That's just working with... Well, actually, it might. It might be telling a lie. But the, ah, these, <laughs> these have another computer inside it that does a lot of fast processing. Right, right. Because the 2600 can only go at 1.1 something megahertz. And then there's a chip inside this that's powered by the Atari. Um, that can do some processing faster and then it goes and spits it back to the Atari. And this and the Atari is almost used for just just spitting out graphics at that point. It's just like process on this, spit out the graphics on that. So I think that's it for this week. Thanks for joining us. And uh, I don't know when we'll be doing this again. Um, Darcy's over usually every two weeks, but sometimes you can come over other times. I could for you guys. Yeah, just for you. I may bring in Tanya next time, uh, midweek or something. Depends on timing, really. So thanks for joining us on Zero Page Homebrew. And thank you to Daryl Spice Jr., um, the programmer of all three games, for sitting into the chat on um, Twitch and helping us out with questions that we had and filling in for information. And so definitely if you liked any of these games, um, pick them up, support the people who made them, like Daryl, and head over to Atari Age or any other uh, homebrew place that sells uh, games online. There are a number of them. And uh, pick them up because they're a ton of fun. Or if you don't have any money, head over to the forums and you can play some older beta versions of these games and um, see, see if you like them. <clears throat> so, thanks once again, and we'll see you later. Ciao. Bye-bye.